everybody, and happy Monday. You know what that means. Go grab your favorite cup of hot cocoa, a few of your favorite cookies, and sit and chat with me a while in today's episode of Cocoa and Cookies. are having a great start to the new year. I know that some of you have really been looking forward to a new year, new changes, a close to a old chapter, and a fresh start, a fresh beginning, as probably most of us have, to be quite honest with you. I have to go ahead and uh, let you know right up front that you'll probably see a quality change in some videos. <laughs> We've had to uh, give the camera back that we have been borrowing for our filming. The owner of that needed it for some photography work that they're going to be doing. So trying to use my cell phone this morning and not sure how well that's going to turn out. But at any rate, if you see a change in the quality, that's what's happening. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get that camera back pretty soon. Also, I have to confess, I don't have cocoa in my cup this morning. Our pastor has called for a 21-day fast to start the new year. So I am just drinking some water with you guys today. We are going to do the Daniel fast, actually, and some of the people in the church are actually going to do it different ways. He's left it open to people to kind of tailor it the way that they see fit. So some people are going to go without food altogether for an extended period of time. Some people are going to fast breakfast and lunch. Some people are going to fast other things. We, as a family, are going to do the Daniel fast for 21 days. You can do a lot of of research online to find out what that is but basically a long story short we're just gonna do fruits and vegetables whole grains and nuts that kind of thing for 21 days no sugar no meats no dairy none of that and it's taken out of the book of Daniel for those of you who are interested in that you can do a Google search and find a lot of information on the Daniel fast if you want to know more about it but that's what we'll be doing for the next 21 days so the next couple of cocoa and cookies for me on my end is just going to be water and maybe an apple or something along those lines I'm actually pretty excited about it. You can see this morning I'm still in my PJs, just roughing it with you guys. Wanted to sit down and chat for a minute because I have a lot going on around here. But I am excited about the fast. Every year starting it off just fresh, dedicating ourselves to God in a fresh way and trying to get His Word for the upcoming year. It's always fun. It's challenging. As a matter of fact, I have a couple of blogs that I've written. For those of you who are not aware, I do have a an online blog. It's uh, dinaroseministries.wordpress.com. I'll link that for you down below. I have, I believe, at last count, there are over 700 blogs on there so far. And I have several articles that I've written about fasting. One of them is the right way to fast, because believe it or not, you guys, if you are doing a fast with your church to begin the new year, you can abstain from food and do all of those kind of things you want to, but if you're not fasting the right way in your heart or with right motives, it's still not acceptable to God. That comes right out of Deuteronomy 58. So I do have an article on that. I will have linked for you below. And then I also have an article on what to expect after a fast. And I will link that for you down below as well, because I think sometimes we don't prepare people enough for the battle that sometimes comes after the fast. You can be on a spiritual high the whole time you're fasting and separating yourself to God, and it is a wonderful experience. But then whenever you come off of the fast, the warfare that comes or the kind of getting back to normal, just the, the not necessarily as... Um, much connection with God as you had during the fast. All of those kind of things can leave you a little disillusioned if you're not prepared for it. So that's a very important article that I have as well. Some of you guys may want to check out if you're fasting or if you never have and you're just kind of curious what it all is. Those would be a great, a great place to start to read those blogs. 
but at any rate, that's what we are doing around here. I've started the day off kind of running. I have coupons that I need to clip for one, <laughs> and then I have a lot of work that I need to do getting all the Christmas stuff down. Come on, you guys tell me, hands up, is your Christmas decorations still up around your house, or am I the last one to start bringing them down? I love Christmas, and so we always leave them up until after New Year's Day, but of course, for us, the last couple of days has been extremely busy with church and a few projects we've had going on around here. I'll try to insert some, some uh, footage for you guys, but someone had graciously donated to us some money to work on our house. They had heard our story about the mold and knew the situation we were in there and felt compelled to try to help us out. So we were able to get a closet door for one of the pantries in the kitchen, and I'll show you that. And we were also able to finally put a door on our bedroom. So some of you that had been watching through Vlogmas had seen where I was painting our bedroom, trying to get ready to move in there. And now I just need to work on getting the closet and the bathroom painted which hopefully I will be able to start this afternoon. And if not, then I'll be able to start that tomorrow. But we now have the door on that bedroom. So we're one step closer to finally moving back in. We have been displaced from our bedroom now. Let's see, March, this coming March will be two years that we have not been in our bedroom. So, and I'm trying to think. Yeah, two years. March will be two years that we haven't been in our bedroom. So I'm excited to get back in there and kind of a little sad at the same time. I know as crazy as this may sound to you guys, we've kind of been living in two thirds of the home over the last two years while we were working on that last section back there. So We've been sleeping real close to where the kids are sleeping, and it's just kind of brought us closer together as a family to go through the hardship that we've been through. And we've been in such close quarters that it's going to kind of be sad to me in a way for us to be back down on the other side of the house now in our own room and back in our own quarters away from the kids. I know that probably seems a little strange to feel that way, but I do. I have enjoyed the closeness of us all, and um, it kind of... Sometimes, you know, I heard Gary Smalley say one time years ago that hardships and crisis in a family can actually bring you closer together if you will let it do that. And it really has in our home. I have to say it really, really has. And so I'm going to kind of miss that. I'm ready for things to be back to normal, but at the same hand, it's going to be a little bit sad also. And uh, so anyway, we're one step closer. Hopefully can get started on that this afternoon, but no promises there. I need to get the Christmas stuff down first because we're going to have to pull a lot of stuff that we've got stored in our bathroom out here again. So our, our living room is going to be back to a mess. Those of you that have been following the channel know that I finally got all of the clothes and stuff that was in here moved back into the bedroom, at least for Christmas, so we could get the big tree up. And it's felt kind of normal in this living room and dining room area throughout the month of December while we've been celebrating Christmas. But now it's time to put all that Christmas stuff away and bring all those clothes and stuff back out here so that we can finish the work we've got to do back there to get in that room. So that's what's on the agenda today. And on top of all that, I just have not been feeling well, you guys. I'm not sure what's going on with me, but I thought at first that it could just be sinuses, but then a couple of days last week, I had some swelling that had come up on the top part of my forehead, not even down where your sinuses usually are, because I've had sinus issues off and on with this whole mold thing, and I've explained all that in a different video, but this swelling was up in the very top part of my forehead, and it looked really, really strange. And whenever I combined that with some of the headaches that I'd been having and just some of the blurred vision that I had been experiencing, it kind of scared me a little bit because I thought, mm, maybe this isn't sinus, I'm not sure. I was so sick yesterday that I made it to the morning service, but I didn't even make it to youth last night. My husband and kids all pitched in and filled in for me in youth last night. That's how bad I felt. 
But I was determined that if I still was feeling really bad this morning, I was going to get up and call and get an appointment, go to the doctor. But I am feeling a little better today. Uh, my husband and kids laid hands on me and prayed for me, and I started to feel better almost immediately. So still got kind of a little bit of fuzziness going on up in my head and in the back here, which I know is sinus back here. So gonna kind of wait today out since I'm feeling a little better and see what happens. And if I'm not better tomorrow, then I'll definitely hit the doctor. But I think I'm finally on the upswing, just kind of weird, but we've had a lot of rain down here in Florida this last weekend. And sometimes whenever that pressure hits, it'll definitely do a number on my sinuses and everything. So I don't know if all that just kind of combined together just gave me a little bit of a rough weekend or what in the world was going on but at any rate finally feel on the upswing this morning so hopefully can get all this Christmas stuff down and get the coupons taken care of and maybe get started on that bathroom today if not then I'll start on that first thing tomorrow and we'll show you a little bit along and along the process of what's happening back there I'm not real sure how interested some of you are really in seeing the the progress on our house. I know I love to watch that whenever other people post that. I know that uh, if you guys will remember, some of you follow her, I'm not sure, Jen, How Jen Does It is the name of her channel. I love to watch her channel. And when they bought their new home last year, she showed some of the progress of their painting and decorating and moving in. And I just love that kind of stuff. So if you guys like it and want to see some of the progress that we're making around here, definitely comment below. I do have some videos posted already that I had posted over the last couple of years, some of the progress, because so many people on our Facebook were worried about us and wondering how the progress was coming on our home. And of course, many of them don't live close enough to stop by and see it. So I thought, well, the easiest way to show everybody is just to make a few videos, post them on YouTube, and they can take a look at how we're doing. So if you want to see those, I'm not sure if I have a playlist. It seems like I do. Uh, the playlist may be called Home Improvement. I'm not real sure. I'll link the playlist down below. If I don't have it on a playlist already, then I'll go ahead and create a playlist and try to go back and find all those videos and pop it in the playlist for you guys to see. There's not a lot of videos, just a few along the way. And uh, if you guys are curious and continuing to watch that progress, let me know and we'll keep showing you little by little. We still have a lot to do. We do. It, there's, we haven't even painted the kids' bedrooms yet, done anything in there. Um, the kitchen is probably about three quarters of the way done now. We still have a backsplash to do, all the trim pieces. We've got to uh, purchase some cabinetry that needs to go back over in the laundry area. We've got two more doors to get in the kitchen, and the kitchen at that point probably, oh, we do have um, the uh, fixtures for the lights that need to go up. So just a lot of stuff. It's like whenever you, it's it's not, it's beyond decorating because it's not even decorating your home. It's rebuilding your home. So everything from light switches to electrical outlets and all that stuff has to be changed out. So we'll show you along the way if you guys are interested in seeing that. It'll definitely be keeping us quite busy for a little while, I'm afraid. <laughs> but at any rate, thank the good Lord that we are making it through that but definitely calls for a busy day so i'm going to kind of pace myself though take it a little slow since i'm on the mend and uh, don't want to overdo it and over push myself or i'll end up right back tomorrow the way i felt over the weekend and that is not good so <laughs> take it easy today and not not really push it and really concentrate more on getting the christmas stuff down but that makes me sad it's kind of the um uh, I don't really know if there's a technical name for it, but it's like an after an event blues. You know, it's like when you plan a wedding and you work for months and months and months and you plan up to the big day and then it happens and then it's like oh, all of a sudden the next day it's like let down because you're excited about what happened, but it's like all the planning and preparation and then it's over and then it's like, okay, what do we do now? You know, that's always how I feel in January after Christmas is over. When all the decorations come down and all the beautiful lights, the holiday parties are over and all the excitement of getting ready for the big day and then it's over and then it's just like kind of gloomy for a few days. That's kind of how I'm feeling today about taking the Christmas stuff down. I actually would leave it up all year long if I could get away with it. 
but I can't. So that will have to come down and things kind of get back to usual. But I'm not super, super sad because that just means that now we get to concentrate on getting ready for Valentine's Day because around our house, we do try to decorate for just about all the major holidays. So we will be doing some stuff. I got a few collaborations coming up for you guys that I'm doing with some other channels for Valentine's Day. So I'm super excited about that and getting some decorating done around here and spreading the love. So be watching out for that. And really, that's just about it. Um, if you are doing a fast with your church, comment below and let me know how you guys are doing it. I'm always curious to watch the progress at the beginning of the year. A lot of churches do call for a fast and a separation unto God to kind of give back a tithe of our time to the Lord at the beginning of the year to thank him for another year as well as to seek his will for the upcoming year. And every church I know does it just a little bit differently. So tell me, what are you guys doing? Are you guys participating with the Daniel fast, a total fast? Or are you just having maybe um, a 21 day prayer where your church is going to be open around the clock for prayer times? How are you doing it? What Are you excited about it? Is it something that you've done for a while? Is it something new to you? Let's have that conversation below because fasting is a very important discipline. Most major religions around the world, not just Christianity, do incorporate fasting into their practice of their religion. And even people who aren't religious per se, even atheists and agnostics and those kind of people who really aren't even sure if there is a God or don't even believe that there's a God, still incorporate fasting into their lifestyle just for health reasons too. There are all kinds of benefits to fasting. Spiritual benefits is a huge one, but there are also health benefits that come. And I'm kind of excited about that. If you guys will remember back during during the summer, I had started a series on this channel called Transformation Tuesdays. Some of you watched it and were excited about it, but it never really took off and gained much momentum. So I kind of cut those out and uh, thought, you know, because it takes a lot <laughs> to record a video because I was recording for you guys most days what, what I was eating, my snacks, the preparation, showed you guys how to make the protein smoothies and all. So it takes a lot of effort to get those filmed and edited and there just wasn't a lot of interest, so it seemed. But I do have a lot of new friends on this channel. And I, to you, I want to say welcome and thank you for coming along. And if all of you guys are interested in me starting that series back over now that it's a new year, then let me know down below and we can get Transformation Tuesdays going again. So I'm excited about the fast also in that respect because it's going to help me realign my eating because you know during the holidays we get all off track. So many goodies and sweets and parties to go to where you eat what you're offered and trying to be courteous to the host and those kind of things. So it will actually be a way to get all the sugar out of my system again and, and hopefully get back on a better eating pattern for this upcoming year. So there's all kind of benefits to fasting. People do it for all different kind of reasons. But I'm curious to hear if you participate and if so, what your expectations are from the fast. And definitely let me know if that's a series you want me to pick back up. Also, if you watched over the weekend, my husband and I are gonna start a new series on this channel called Real Talk with the Roses. Instead of having him come on a Cocoa and Cookies, we're just gonna start a whole different a whole different show. And that will probably be once a month, somewhere around in there. It may not be exactly once a month, but we're going to do it as often as we can. You guys have sent me some great suggestions over the weekend. So awesome topics that you guys would love to hear us talk about. And it's not too late. Keep sending them in. Let me know what you would love to hear from us. It can be Couples related, money related, just life in general. Most of you know that he is a law enforcement officer, so maybe you guys have some questions even about that. Um, some of you want to know how we met, where we met, what was our first date, and those kind of things. So I'm excited to get that one going. Not sure exactly when the first one will be posted up. I wanted to give some time for you guys to get all your questions and suggestions into us. So Probably one day next week, we'll get that rolling and we'll try to do it for you all once a month. So I'm excited about that. Be watching for that one. And other than that, <clears throat> not a super lot of plans. 
for the upcoming year as far as channel changes. My channel is just kind of a conglomeration of everything. Whatever I feel like filming and throw it up is what I do. So I know some channels are specific to one certain thing, but on this channel, it's just, you know, it started off with nail art is how I actually got started with the channel and then it evolved into the couponing and then it's evolved into DIYs and more conversational videos like this and so it's just kind of whatever happens at any given moment is what you guys are bound to see. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want to watch and what you don't. No no uh, real schedule or anything like that here. It's ever changing and evolving. But I do have a second channel for all of you that are new here to Divine Design. The second channel is called Dina Rose Ministries. I will have that linked for you down below as well if you want to check it out. Over there on that channel, it's more of just straight devotionals or sermons and stuff like that that we do for ministry purposes. So if you're interested in a devotional that comes out every week or <clears throat> once in a while if we can get <clears throat> my sermons posted, we put those over there as well. We've had a little trouble getting them uploaded with all the changes with Apple and the computer with iMovie. It just it didn't want to switch between accounts, but I think I've finally got that figured out now, so we should be able to get started back up with those moments in the Word, hopefully this week. If not this week, then next week. So stop on over and check that out. That channel is monetized also, just to go ahead and let you know, and <clears throat> we have decided... <clears throat> We have decided that on that channel, every proceed that happens to come in, which isn't very much at all, just kind of pennies, but everything that does come in from that channel, we donate straight back to emissions work through our organization, the Assemblies of God. We have a program called Speed the Light that supports our missionaries all over the world. So all of the proceeds that come in from that channel, that's what we do with that money. In case you're wondering, it's not just to make money off of YouTube or anything like that. It is to go and to help missions. So if you get a chance, stop on over, go ahead and subscribe over there, and hopefully we can get back on schedule this week with that channel as well. Other than that, not a whole lot going on. Just trying to get back in the swing of normal life now that the holidays are over. So I think I will let you guys go. I won't belabor this today. Got a lot to do and I need to get running. I hope you guys are having a great start to your new year. I hope you are having a happy Monday. I hope you have a great week and all of the life's activities that you have facing you. I hope everything goes smoothly for you all and that God will show his favor to you guys this year in 2016. I can't believe that. 2016. That just sounds so unreal. I remember back at Y2K, we didn't even think we would see 2001. And here we are at 2016. Excited about that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let all of you guys go. And we will be seeing you very soon. Don't forget, there is a giveaway happening on the channel. Make sure that you go and look for the video. It's called 70% Off Haul Plus Two Surprise Giveaways. Not only am I having a giveaway, but my daughter is having one on her Instagram channel. So you'll want to check that video and get in on that before the week is over. So at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to you all. Happy Monday, and we will see you in the next video.